My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. This gets to be the moment when I come back on to kind of try to demonstrate the next part of the project and I'm going to go ahead and turn it down and show what it is here. You can see that on one of these I've already done the step and that was because I did it while I was starting to record the first try of this video for this second part of the series and happened that I forgot to, to change the level of the camera where it was still focused on my face while I was carving down here and couldn't let you see the steps. So I decided to go ahead and focus it again there while I was remembering. So I'd say that we're going to get started here and I'm going to show you all the step right here. But as you could see, some like I didn't showed you in the last video how some extra lines have gotten drawn and what we do is we carve along this line right here between these two lines to kind of turn this little area that's kind of angular into a flat surface so this is where we're going to kind of demonstrate along how we carve and I tell you, I guess this is a newly sharpened knife because I've been using those other ones so much and I tell you, I think they probably got a little bit doled out from the last couple of videos I used them for so they couldn't really be used the right way and that is kind of the reason why I just sort of like make it so... You can kind of see what we're doing here, kind of, and probably the fact that probably should be taking some little gentler strokes, but I say that this is just the little way I've worked along things to kind of make it so it's going to be a bright and easy little thing to do, and show a little spirit and power of how the Lord Jesus comes to be and there was a verse I thought about today I will tell you all that due to the weather and what I said in the last video as far as how I don't know whether I'll be going back to my school cafeteria job or not because we don't know yet what the school system is going to do for tomorrow residential roads could end up being so bad that they have to call off school again and we do another NTI or else I might go to work but knowing that we probably won't know until this evening or tomorrow morning I kind of kept up with the news a little bit or kept up with my work emails and kind of figured out from what I saw that it was just going to be where we just don't know what it's going to be just yet there probably not going to say anything if it's just a regular day so today I had to go out and brush all the snow off my car just in case I go in tomorrow I had to um, kind of melt the frost off the back and front windshields and shovel snow from around my car just to make sure that if I do go to work tomorrow I'm able to get out and like I've been saying I mean there's places I've wanted to be out to today but felt it to be my conviction to stay in today for certain safety reasons all this stuff about how 
residential roads can still be bad, but the main roads might be okay and kind of just little issues where, you know, we just don't know how it's going to go. But as for the little roads, I mean, I have to go through residential roads to get to the main roads, so that's kind of the little issue of getting out lately, so that's kind of just the way as of recently that I have worked at things, tried to make things so they turn out for the better, and as of this little thing here, this Tuplio probably turned out to be harder than I thought. I always thought it was good soft carving wood, but I tell you the knife, the knives are not in good enough shape. They could probably use another sharpening. Just gave them a sharpening yesterday. But to get back to what I said about work for tomorrow, something we can't worry about today. Think about how that, you know, we're carving Jesus right now and makes me think about certain words he said but he said do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own so that was a trustworthy old saying of his and it was just one of those things we read that it kind of has very less very good meaning to it as far as what it has to say and this is where we sort of work our way along this I'm carving down on this other side now this is the other part we need to flatten down so work our way about that and I'll tell you all that I started to record a second video in between the first try and this one and this final one for this particular step and the second try didn't go through because I forgot to put on my microphone earpiece so that is kind of the reason I decided for the moment to cancel that one a while try to get back on take care of the rest of this see where it's going to do, see where it's going to lead, and I say that, you know, and you know how in my old videos I've always mentioned Calvin Grant to you, he was the woodcarver who passed away about a little over a year ago, and all the things we sort of knew about him, and all the good that he was, and how he always just said, that there comes a certain point where you can probably tell you need to sharpen your knives. He was around today and kind of saw the ways I was struggling with the knives. That's what he'd be telling me. It was time to sharpen them. Took me a while to get to where I could learn how to sharpen a knife all by myself. Learn how to really get down to the blade and would say I've recorded a few videos where I've demonstrated myself doing that here and there so as for now I say these little steps in the risen Lord Jesus are making their way and as you see I probably got a little bit too close to my body there with the carving and kind of got to be careful about that because you know, you don't want to cut yourself. It's bad enough we cut our hands, but one time I was carving a piece of cedar over my lap without the pen here and kind of sliced open my leg and it caused me to have to go get that sewn up. And I'd say that there's little things we learn from the things we do in life and I say that that was when I was carving the flames for my Hebrew children display which I kind of recently mentioned in a previous video and one of the little things that I said about that was that 
it was just one of those pieces that had the angel of the Lord in it and the fact of the matter being that there came a time I got a little done with it and and I'd say that that little piece of cedar that the flames are carved out of I was carving the flame of fire that was in the furnace and that little piece of cedar I was carving it still has a little knife scar in it and that little scar that is in the wood is kind of just significant to the place where the knife slipped in the wood right before it slipped on my leg and cut me. So it was probably something I did. I mean, sometime before I started doing YouTube videos of carving and stuff. So it was just what little work that kind of came in its own way in its own time and so I say that there's probably other little steps we've got we could take along here and maybe I'd say for these little lines that make the chin and the bottom of the face we could kind of put a little cut in here kind of make it so we got little lines make it so it's like the risen king risen savior has a little love in his life and how he's just a king of mercy king of jesus christ and all the ways god is so good to us god reaches out and shows us all a little mercy indeed in our kind little ways i say bless children indeed i say bless children indeed learn what they know and what they say i tell y'all that this is a little cut that comes down to where it's just about right at the level for Jesus's risen face and what you see here and decide in the way that we're going to try to cut along this one too the little extra carving part will come later on we'll take care of that eventually try to get that little extra bit of work put in to make his face and how he's always going to stand out to make what he's going to be just to work in our ways make a jesus figure that stands as a wooden statue of the resurrection the easter story because we know that i still have to look on the calendar to see when it is but it's going to come anytime this year and late march early april that's usually about when it is but here we got the little place where we got the face in and i say that there's probably going to be little bits of work do along the way here maybe even for these places where we've sort of put the lines to the side try to make other little lines here to line up this part of the vest to the next part and I say I say I say it's just kind of like how that this shall work away along to the little risen Lord of all things once we see his light and beauty he will shine in us like a light forever and where you see I put the lines in this one I'm about to put the lines in this one too I say draw the line here and draw the line here and draw the line along this little ways too and make little stripes of glory to be the little place that makes the little cloak in his robe and oh the things we rejoice and say 
when we work a little ways to make the statue just what it's going to be. So I've decided I've shown all the steps I'm going to show for this video and maybe come back on another time and show you all some more. There's probably some noise of machine going on in the background, but we've kind of got things real busy in here. We have machines running and over in this little corner, I'll show you something else. You see that there's that little gas lit fireplace over there. That is something that we keep. It is down here year round, but I will tell you that we have it down here so that in the winter time, we can light it up to keep the basement warm. It uses natural gas just for your information. So that's one of the things we've had on lately just to kind of keep it warm in this basement. And I say that it's always good to come on and share a little work, share a little video, show you all a little skill, what I can do. And for all the things I appreciate about you all, I appreciate that you all watch. I appreciate that you all keep up, keep in touch, and keep up with my work. I hope that you all will continue to come on and see many more things. And hope to see you in the future and in the next video. Take care. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.